Honestly, it makes me feel like my son's death was not in vain. Hundreds of San Diego teenagers got screened today for devastating heart conditions that can go undetected until it's too late. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn spoke to the family struck by tragedy, now trying to save others and the new boost that their effort could soon be getting. John. Eric Paredes, thought to be a perfectly healthy teenager, passed away in 2009 from sudden cardiac arrest. His parents telling me there were warning signs that were missed. That's why they're holding this event today, to prevent this from happening to other families. This was actually the last picture that I, I took with my son. Rena Paredes Greason wears a button showing her and her son Eric smiling wide. It was 2009 and 15-year-old Eric was blossoming as a wrestler and football player at Steel Canyon High School. Just because your child looks healthy doesn't mean that they are heart healthy. Later that year, Eric collapsed on the kitchen floor with sudden cardiac arrest. CPR efforts were unsuccessful. On Sunday, Eric's parents, Rena and Hector, continued their efforts to protect other families from going through the same tragedy. Their nonprofit, the Eric Paredes Save a Life Foundation, hosted a free heart screening at Kearney High School with hundreds of teenagers coming in for an EKG to be reviewed by a cardiologist, not part of an annual physical. Honestly, it makes me feel like my son's death was not in vain. In 35,000 screenings at more than 60 events since 2010, the organization has discovered about 600 heart anomalies in youth. Now, Rena and Hector are buoyed by proposed legislation from State Senator Brian Jones that would create a pilot program for free screenings for signs of sudden cardiac arrest for kids in grades 5 through 12. It's our hope that the data will then produce the reason why we should be changing the standard of care and making EKGs part of the standard of care. The foundation has its next event planned for June 5th at El Cajon Valley High School. In Kearney Mesa, John Horn, ABC 10 News. The screening's making a big difference. Thanks, John.